Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to create a simple scene to test some of the replicant tools for animating and editing scenes. I've already set up our environment and our main character, and now I'll begin by adding some lights. And then I'm going to create a zombie character for this one. I'm going to modify the shape so it looks a bit more human. I see here in the proportions uh, menu, this is where you can basically kind of change all the characters' proportions. Let's say we have this zombie. Um, he's going to come from over there. And then he's going to chase after. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the zombie's going to come from from there, from behind a car or something, and chase after this guy. Uh, so uh, first, I'm going to create some animation. Now, if I, I can extend this and loop it, or I can kind of uh, uh, stretch it, I'm going to loop it, but I don't want it to loop like on the spot. So what I'll do for that is I say edit and then I say keep offset from the loops. So now you go back and you see that this guy is kind of running, right? So if I put this starting point let's say there um so now I um I want to have a camera that basically tracks with this guy. So I can again do a viewport, a new camera from the viewport. Um let's say I want to be able to you know, I want to be a little bit wide um so I can see the zombie behind him, twenty four. Uh, there you go, your camera. And what I can do now with that camera is, again, parent it to this character. So that is the uh, the mid shot uh, of the travel on the hero. As your scenes get bigger, it's really important to kind of name everything properly. Uh, so it's a pretty good idea to just, you know, start getting used to that and doing a good job on that. Uh, so now I have parented that here. I'm going to look um, where it's, what socket I'm going to put it to. Uh, yeah, so I'm parenting it to the pelvis. And then I'm going to drag this out a little bit. So I do want it to look at the character. Uh, I'll open my camera preview. And we'll rotate uh, this to where we want it to be. What I could do is actually have the camera target uh, look at the and then this should slow it down a little bit. Okay. Um, now I'm going to create another camera. Actually, let's set up the um, let's set up the, the 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 zombie first. So I'll find my zombie. I'm going to add him to the scene. Um. I want him to start behind our lead character. Uh, let's say what I what do I have here? Might have some zombie in here. Zombie. Okay, there you go. Idle. Uh, run. That's kind of cool. 
but yeah, so you can you can see you can really kind of preview these these animations that are in here, and uh, you can make your own ones obviously as well. But I'm I'm going to be quite quick with this here. Uh, actually, that's quite. Quite like this one here. Uh, it's quite funny. Okay, so I'm gonna give that to a guy. And I'll do the same thing. I'm going to loop these a couple of times. And I'm going to say, uh, keep the offset. Okay, so that's good. So maybe it would actually work better if we had a couple of these um, zombies. So I'm going to duplicate them. Uh, I can hold the Alt button and um, just drag it, and then it would duplicate. So now I have another one. Alt button, drag. Let's say we have four of these zombies. Uh, let's put them on the surface, though. By hitting the end button, it will actually snap to the floor. So now I'm going to actually make a couple, make them all look slightly different. Okay, I'm going to save my scene, actually. One thing about saving scenes, we have a, you know, we are still in beta. Um, so there are crashes from time to time. Uh, you can set your autosave here. You see, I have my path, um, and this is where I store my autosaves. Uh, so I'm going to save the project now. So um, let's see what we have so far. So we got the big guy coming after M. I need to rotate that a little bit. It comes this direction. Well, Okay. Um, now I'm going to do the same thing with these other guys. Now I'll add these to the scene. And I will do a similar, let's say one is really slow. Uh, let's take like zombie three as a slow one here. What was it? Slow. Actually, maybe one of them is. This one is kind of a freight. That looks funny. He's going a little bit too fast, that one. So what I'm going to do is actually use the time stretch for this. So now I can basically let's see. Now I've stretched this out and he's a bit slower. Maybe a little bit too much. Okay. Uh, now let's do the other guys. Maybe this guy actually is just going to stand here. It was an idol. Oh, maybe we have them come from somewhere else, actually. Yeah, that'd be fun. We can build up some uh, suspense. Okay. And we can actually have him look at this whole scene. So let's do that. Head, look at. Adding a key. And we're going to say follow the target. Follow uh, the big zombie. So... Now you'll see that his head is following the direction of uh, where they're running at. So 
אוקיי. What else do we have? We have one more. All right, let's do another run for this. And uh, for this one, I'm going to basically just copy what I did with this one running four. I will go and give it a track, full body. I have to, if I want to paste, you have to select the actual track. Uh, I'm going to go to the beginning, paste. And just to make a little bit of a variation, I'm going to make this a little bit uh, faster. Um, so you can also kind of put your keyframes here from transform. I usually like doing that. So I've set a keyframe now for all of these guys. And this guy as well. Okay. So now let's take a look how that looks here. Whoa. So they got him almost a year. Whoa. Um, all right, now let's take a couple of different cameras. So we're going to just make a, make a short sequence. I'll show you how we use multiple cameras to cut. Oh, actually, our zombies, they don't have much expression. Uh, so we could either just do the same thing, record what I just did, uh, or you can go to the library, and there's a lot of facial animation here. So let's say we have some angry uh, zombies here. What I can do is um, add a facial animation. Uh, angry. Let's say zombie one is this one here. Um, Uh, if I select in the outliner, um, I can basically, so this is my kind of angry zombie here. It's now having this expression. I can kind of slip it so that I can see what I, what I kind of want. I kind of want it to, I want his face to be a bit more kind of extreme. So I can always go to the um, details and basically say zombie one's entire face needs more, uh, needs more. So now I should have some more expressions uh, on here. Maybe a little bit too much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah way too much. Uh, uh, let's see, we'll 1.1. And then this is like 1.5, it's okay. Great, and then maybe for this one, I'll do a quick recording. To zombie three, facial animation. I'll go back to my mocap, uh, and I was on zombie three. Switch on the facial capture, and so you can either record from here and then add it onto the timeline, or uh, you can record directly from the timeline, which. Uh, which is easier. So I'm going to do that right here. So face, I'm going to make some zombie faces. Stop. Switch off my mocap. And I go back here. In my animation, you will see now that I have Okay, so let's see if I can intensify that a bit as well. Um, you can you can go through all these different tabs, but since I have two monitors, what I do often is I'll have my avatar editor on different monitor, so I can go back to the details of my zombie here. And and what I'm interested in is like basically tweaking this in the in the scene, right? So. You see here, I can kind of tweak the expressions, tweak the face. Let's say I want it to be a bit like this. Okay. There we go. Happy with that. Then I could also basically use this same track, uh, Control C, 
I used that for my other zombie, uh, which was a zombie two. I'll add a facial animation track. Make sure I got the track selected, paste it, and then I can just offset it a bit. So now everybody's got like some facial animation, apart from a big guy. Uh, where's the big guy? Big guy wants to have that too. And we'll give that one also a little bit more intensity. Uh, a tiger face. Mm -hmm. Mouth. Okay. All right, so let's take a look again at what we have now. Be good to do one over his shoulder a little bit. Okay, let's say we want something like this viewport, new camera from viewport. I will right, we'll call that one cam zombie. Uh, over the shoulder, OTS. And this guy should be, this camera should be following. Uh, so my details of the camera that I just added, I'm going to tell it to um, look at and also focus, track to focus. Let's give this a slightly tighter 50. Let's open preview. So what's really nice about this is that this all works exactly the same as on a stat or with a real camera. So I can basically go, oops, yeah, great. How we see that, we need this to be a bit faster. Uh, look at speed. Okay. And then I'll add this camera track on here. Um, again, they pop up at the bottom. I, I like to have my camera tracks on the top. You can also make folders uh, for this. So, for example, now I'm done with all my characters. What I do often is create a folder. And they put all your characters in there. Uh, I could just move them. And then I have a little bit more space to 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 work in my timeline. And also, if you're doing a lot of stuff, you can switch that off. Then you know you don't need to process it. But yeah, okay. So we have this now. Um, So if I look at this, yeah, this is my shot. Okay. So then I wanted to have, I need to have one more kind of wide shot, I think. Okay, let's say we like that. New uh, camera. So we'll have that as our establishing shot. You see, you can I I can play with this for for ages. It's really nice to, you know, set up a scene before you're doing a live action shoot. Um, but it's actually just tons of fun to to make stuff in here. See some of these guys are not on the ground. Oh no, they are. Uh -oh. Okay. <clears throat> and then we had one other shot, which was our. Um, so if I want to actually quickly see what these cameras are, I can go through it like this. So my travel shot. I've got this one. I've got this one. Uh, I can't believe. Did I set this one up? Can't remember. Uh, let's let's go and play around with this one. 
what I can do is like select this one and then basically open a camera preview and edit. So now I'm basically piloting this camera. Actually, this is quite nice too. So, you know, maybe we're like a bystander or somebody on a truck, say update. Now, um, so this is cam. It's on the uh, so cam car. I'll add that one here. Let's say we want to have that one in the beginning. It's our very first shot. Then we go to our shot of the expression on this zombie. Let's quickly make that one. I'll check out the details. I want this to be on a 50 mil. Um, and I wanted to focus on this guy. So um, I see a bit of sliding there. So I'm just going to put some keyframes in. Um, and make sure that that run looks a little bit better. Um, ended up basically kind of redoing the run and actually uh, timing it, so I'm a, bit, a little bit more control. And um, yeah, you see, that's what what I really like about it is that you can, you know, you're just like seeing like almost final pixel um it's like you're kind of like scouting uh you're looking for shots and take as much time as you as you want um i'm i'm obviously rushing this a little bit because um so yeah i'm a little bit mindful about uh about the time uh but what i really kind of want to show is that you know you can make some content in very little time um and yeah obviously with uh you know, with animation, it's like the more time you spent on it, the more polished there is, and um, the better your stuff looks like. So what I like about these camera tracks is that, you know, it's it's actually in a way it's kind of more than an edit because you can change your camera, right? So it's like, it's a really kind of nice way to kind of come back at footage and whenever you've done your animations, like basically kind of tweak it and see where... Um, yeah, so you see where you, you, you want something. If you've forgotten something, you just add another camera. And uh, you can, you know, basically get coverage quite quite easily, which obviously you don't, you never have on a, it's a luxury, you never have on a shoot. Uh, yeah, so I kind of like his kind of crazy expressions. I did that just off the cuff. I am running on a 3080 graphics card. Um, pretty solid machine, but nothing kind of crazy. You know, this, is, this works on any kind of a, a gaming uh, a computer. And if you have like an older machine, um, you can turn the settings down. You know, I have it at pretty, pretty high uh, settings here, as you can see. There you go. It's definitely going to be a nice thumbnail in there somewhere. So yeah, there we go. That's our um, that's our sequence. Can move this around a little bit, uh, but I think we got the the gist of it. Um, yeah, I'm going to render this and um, upload it. So, yeah, thanks.